I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, July 14, 2022. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was in Kingston on Wednesday to announce a $1.5 billion investment to build a first-of-its-kind industrial-scale near-carbon-neutral battery materials manufacturing plant in Loyalist Township. The Prime Minister said the 350-acre facility is planned for an empty plot of land at Taylor Kidd Boulevard and County Road 4, just west of Kingston in Loyalist Township. Construction is slated to begin in 2023, with operations planned for the end of 2025. However, supply chain issues will probably delay that timeline. If you were out towards Lake Ontario Park earlier this week and you noticed a rather large military-looking ship docked in Kingston at the old coal dock on Lake Watch Lane, well, that was Her Majesty's Canadian ship Glace Bay, also known as HMSC Glace Bay, which is a functioning warship of the Royal Canadian Navy. The ship was open for tours and was in Kingston as part of a recruitment tour that highlights the diverse opportunities that are available for those interested in perhaps joining the Canadian Forces. Speaking of the Navy, the HMCS Kingston is on its way to a four-month deployment to the Baltic Sea to take part in Operation Reassurance. The Limestone City's namesake vessel, along with the HMCS Summerside, departed Halifax on June 26th and will assist NATO deterrence measures in Central and Eastern Europe. Kingston City Council met this week. They voted to suspend its vaccine mandate for city staff, meaning that as of August 1st, vaccinations against COVID-19 will no longer be mandatory for employees of the city of Kingston. Under the current policy, all staff are required to provide proof of vaccination as a condition of employment, and those unvaccinated or who prefer not to disclose were required to attend an education session on the benefits of vaccines. Despite the fact that vaccinations will no longer be mandatory for city employees, staff will still encourage COVID-19 vaccinations, along with other preventative me measures such as health screening, physical distancing, hand hygiene, increased air exchange, and enhanced cleaning. Also during their meeting, Kingston City Council voted to adopt a number of measures suggested by the pedestrian working group, including the establishment of community safety zones near schools and the reduction of speed limits in some neighborhoods. The PWG was established in January following the tragic death of a student outside Mother Teresa Catholic School. Also approved was an extension of the very successful School Street Play Street program at Winston Churchill Public School on Cheryl Place. Last August, the city was approached by the Kingston Coalition for Active Transport to pilot the program, which was very well received by the school and local community. Council approved their request for continued temporary road closures, and staff also recommended that $50,000 be made available through funds designated for future programs. Paved Paradise 2022 is now installed in downtown Kingston, a new public art display that invites passers-by to reimagine how they see Springer Market Square. Now in its fifth year, this year's exhibit is by Kingston artists Brie Rapoport and Lee Stewart, titled Liminal Square. The exhibit invites viewers to consider a new perspective of Springer Market Square as a public space through color and mixed media overlaid and collaged on archival photos. Artfest has decided to cut ties with the Epoch Times, a far right leaning publication that has been part of the festival since 2012. After organizers were called out on social media for the association, they say they were not aware that the editorial content of the paper conflicted with their values. Organizers say they initially created a sponsorship exchange to promote Chinese ballet, dance, and orchestral performances, which was backed by the publication. And lastly, what are you up to this weekend? Because Kingstonist wants to send one lucky subscriber to the barn in Lyndhurst for an evening of live music, delicious foods, and cold drinks. Midsummer Music at the Barn is a one-night 19-plus licensed event happening at Furnace Falls Farm, just a short drive northeast of Gananoque on July 16th, featuring live music from the Stephen Stanley Band, Jukebox County, and Piner. <laughs> How can you win? Check it out right now at kingstonist.com. And for more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.